Hey, community group leaders and teachers, I hope you're doing well and having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited to introduce this week's Leadership Minute. This is one more tool we can have in our tool belt to lead more effectively. Through the month of March, we are looking at some of Jesus' commands to make disciples and what does discipleship really look like? How can we invest in other people who invest in other people? You know, Jesus said, go make disciples of all nations. And we looked at that command last week to see what exactly that looked like. Um, you know, this week I want to hone in on that a little bit more and one of the verbs in that command, you know, when Jesus said, go, make disciples of all nations in Matthew 28, 18, he was really challenging his disciples to do exactly what he did. As you go, grab other people with you, teach them to, to fall in love with me and lead other people to love me. He, he was really challenging them to develop a habit and a pattern of, of investing in people and, and taking them with them as they go. You see this best displayed in Luke 24. After Jesus died and rose from the dead, um, the text says that there were some disciples that were really confused. And so they were on this road going to Emmaus. And as they were walking, they were processing what was going on. And Jesus ended up sneaking up alongside of them and walking with them and then sharing with them, unpacking from scripture what really happened. And, and that, that's a great example of what discipleship can look like. So many times we like to think of discipleship as this, this great grandiose program that we have to, to be involved in every step of the way. We have to micromanage and plan everything out. When the truth is, is that discipleship can be as simple as as we go to one place, we intentionally walk with someone else and invite someone to go with us, wherever that might be. That might be going to the hospital and visiting someone that you know that's sick, but someone else has never been, and so you invite them to go with you to show what does it look like to pray for them. Or maybe both of you have never done that, and so you do it together to explore that together. Maybe that means that you bring a, a meal to a family that's in need, and you share what you do, why you do what you do, or you just simply talk about what your walk with Jesus look like, how are you growing closer to him, are you spending time praying or reading the Bible, what scripture passage is really coming to life in your life. As you ask those kinds of questions, as you do life with them and, and walk from one place to another place and invest in other people, I believe God will use that to multiply what God has given you as a leader into them, that they'll be, they'll be more hungry for God and the things of God because of that. So my challenge is look for ways to intentionally walk with people and invest in them in just the ordinary things that you would normally do. If you have any questions about this leadership challenge or anything else, please feel free to reach out to me, shoot me a text or an email. But I look forward to seeing you back here again next week for another round of Leadership Minute. Hey, blessings, friends.